Okay, let's have a look at how we can set up a default email, let's say for um, our campaigns. We want to set up a default email with our design and logo and anything like that. So first we go up to the main navigation and under admin we go to branding center and you'll see it brings up then all the default um, templates that are already in place. So let's say we're going to edit the campaign one, you can edit all of these so that they come up the way you want. So let's say we edit the campaign email. Now in the previous video I showed you in the drag and drop builder um, how the actual editing work. It's pretty much the same in here. You'll see again you've got your different snippets and um, you can insert images and tables and dividers. And then obviously we can format. So let's start by the layout and style. Now I certainly don't like the background colour so if we go and edit that style there and we say I'd much rather just have a white background here so OK now we can change the colour of the footer the footer link and the footer text anything like that and again I'm going to go for just white background, let's change that, cancel for the moment, so now I've got a white background here, I'm happy with the text being black and blue, that's fine, that doesn't really bother me, I don't have a sidebar subtitle or anything like that, so for the moment I'm quite happy to just leave the style as it is, I would just want to change some of my logos and things, so if we then go see when you hover over something the box appears for you to change so we go on there double click and let's say we want to add a new image in this case and we want to take that logo there open that shows us a preview we can give it text so for spam filters and everything it's always good so we're happy with the size, we insert that and that comes up. Obviously that's not the best picture to choose because it's quite massive in comparison but you choose the picture that suits what you need to do. You can then go in, you change your text um, if you need to. Let's say for instance we don't really want that image there anymore. Um, I can just say well get rid of that image. I'm happy with the sidebar information, I don't want the image. At the bottom signature I'm happy with and all of that. So that's now my template. I can then save that. And it's currently used in 32 other items. Please confirm that you want to apply these changes. So it's quite good. It shows you um, how it will look in all the different versions of things that you've now set up. So I've changed the background color overall. So if I then go, I can either update the style or save as a new style. In this instance, if it's company-wide, you may as well update the style. It's been updated successfully. If I then go back to the branding center, you can actually see it's update the style for all of them. So all now have white backgrounds rather than the gold and yellow that we had before. And that's how you change the templates. Of course, you can make them all look different if you wish, but it's not necessarily the best branding decision. Uh, but that's entirely up to you.